Hello everyone and welcome to TechFix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will add the Google Play Store to an Amazon Fire tablet. The Amazon Fire 7, HD8 and HD10 are excellent value devices, offering a level of quality unmatched at their respective price points, particularly when acquired during a sale. One of their key disadvantages is that new apps can only be downloaded from the Amazon App Store by default, and, whilst a good number of apps can be acquired via this route, it is restrictive by comparison to over a million apps available from Google Play. Furthermore, some key apps remain unavailable via this platform. However, as Amazon's Fire OS is based upon Android, the vast majority of apps designed for Android and offered from the Google Play Store will run on the Fire platform. Nevertheless, Google Play is not available as a direct download from the Amazon App Store, and therefore we will need to download and install the source files by alternative means. It should be noted that no hardware modification is required, and this process is most unlikely to invalidate your warranty in the way that routing the device would. We will make only one change to the device settings before downloading and installing four files. We can confirm that this method worked on our Fire HD8 as of New Year 2019. Incidentally, this process cannot be repeated with Apple's App Store as the device is fundamentally incompatible with iOS. This tutorial assumes that you have completed the initial device setup and are connected to Wi-Fi. We begin by swiping downward from the top of the home screen on our Fire device. From the drop-down menu which appears, select the cog icon to enter system settings. The settings screen will now appear. Within this menu, we need to scroll down until we reach the Security and Privacy option, which we select. As we will be downloading and installing files which are not available from the Amazon App Store, we need to enable the option to allow the installation of apps from unknown sources. Turning this setting to the On position generates a warning, and with good reason. The installation of any application represents a security risk on any device, and restricting your installation to known sources i.e. the Amazon App Store, allows Amazon to curate the selection of apps offered, as well as scrutinising them for malware. This provides an additional layer of protection for the user, which this tutorial requires you to disable. Under any other circumstance, it will be our advice to never turn this setting off, as it allows malicious code to be installed. However, in this instance, we are going to install from a source which we deem to be trustworthy, and which has a good reputation on the web. However, don't take our word for it, and ensure that you have conducted at least some research on the topic before proceeding. We have now applied the setting, and are able to install apps from outside the App Store. Now run the Silk Browser, and navigate to each of the four links in the description accompanying this video. All four files are hosted by APK Mirror, a trusted repository of APK files, entirely separate from both the Amazon and Google Play stores. The links are also shown on screen now, for those of you who may not be able to immediately access the description text. We now have four tabs open, one for each of the required resources. Google Account Manager, Google Services Framework, Google Play Services, and Google Play Store. The four APK files must be installed in the correct sequence, so we download in the same order to make the installation slightly easier. We begin with Google Account Manager. Scroll down to download the APK, and tap the Download APK button to begin the download. If this is your first download, the tablet will seek permission to access storage to download files. Click Continue. We will need to allow access to media, photos and files to perform this installation, so click Allow. Finally, we are warned that this type of download is potentially harmful, as would any program which runs on your tablet. Click OK to proceed. We are notified that the file has downloaded. We won't open yet, so we can click away and move on to the next one. We move to the Google Services Framework and repeat. Then do likewise with Google Play Services and Google Play Store. Scrolling down from the top, we now see that the Silk Browser has successfully downloaded the four APK files. We are now ready to install the four files that we have downloaded, remembering that sequencing is important. From the home screen, tap to run the Docs app. We tap on Local Storage, where we find the four files we have downloaded. If you have followed the order suggested, the files will be downloaded in chronological order, 
And here, our files have been downloaded at 1 minute intervals, and we are working from first downloaded to last. We tap on Google Account Manager to run. If you have downloaded randomly, here is a reminder of the installation order. For each module we install, we are advised as to the system settings to which we are providing access. Click install to proceed in each instance. We are notified when the app is installed. Click done to progress to the next. Now repeat for Google Services Framework, Google Play Services and Google Play Store. On first run, we are asked to agree to provide further permissions, this time by Google Services, and any updates will automatically download. At the conclusion, the traditional Google Play Store icon will appear on the home page, which can be run in the normal way. We can now either install our previous purchases or seek out new content, and we have significantly increased the amount of content available to our Amazon device. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. If you can provide a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like more, you are very welcome to subscribe to the Tech Fix Flix YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Subscription is of course entirely free and provides easy access to all of the videos posted here. Clicking on the neighbouring bell icon means you will be notified whenever a new video is posted. You can also keep in touch by following the official Tech Fix Flix Twitter account. Until your next Tech Fix, goodbye.